my heaven on earth, I get to come up here and, and, and be me. Everything just kind of falls into place when you're here. It's like an extension to your family, I think. One big family. It brings another life to you than you're not focused on one child. It's good to get away and just have a break and do what you want. And it's really fun. Reaching out to the parents of children with life-limiting illnesses takes more than brochures, more than newspaper publicity, more than public relations. The challenge is to help families understand what Chaz could mean for them. The general impression you get is that it's just another home. And that was the best bit about it. There was nothing clinical about it. The kids look at it as a, a, a hotel for, for kids. Um, for me and Graham, it's just a wee bit of a wee haven that we know we can go to. People just don't realise that. I think they think hospice is a miserable, dreary place where people just die. It's not. You know, that, and that's what you've got to get out to the people out there. Come up, it's fun. And unless they come in and see it, they don't, they, I don't think they believe you. But the message is gradually getting through. Healthcare professionals are increasingly hearing of the work Chaz does with families and their 24-hour multidisciplinary approach to palliative support and care. It's just a, such a brilliant place. It actually lifts your spirits um, when you come here. You know, you might come in and think, oh, you know, everything's going so bad, but you actually leave the place with a smile because it's, it's just fantastic. I think people think of hospices as being very sad and depressing and, and the children here are, you know, a, a severely ill, a lot of them are severely disabled, but it's actually a really, really happy place to be. I think the, the biggest experience when you come into Rachel House is the atmosphere. It's an atmosphere you don't expect. And I always said if you could bottle it and sell it, they wouldn't have to do fundraising. They'd make millions. Chas has the advantage of being able to work hand in hand with the health services and yet remain outside the mainstream. This flexibility means that every family can have its own unique care plan. Every child or young person can take part in the activities or therapies that suit them best. Chaz is there for the family in whatever way is most appropriate. Chaz's multidisciplinary approach means that they care not only for the child or young person's clinical needs, but for the social, emotional, physical, spiritual and recreational needs of the entire family. Home from home accommodation is provided for the whole family. There are separate bedrooms for the affected children and young people and self-contained living areas for their parents, brothers and sisters. Sometimes even the simple gift of sleep can have a dramatic effect on the parents' self-esteem and physical well-being and allows them to recharge their batteries ahead of returning home. Instead of getting up every morning at five to start your medicines and drugs and feeds before you go and do your own work, there's somebody here who'll do that for you. I bring lots of books. I go through about three or four books when I'm here. <laughs> and I'll lie in a bath for a good hour every night and just fall into bed. Wonderful. Small things in life. <laughs> but that's what I love most. Chaz does the simple things well and they never forget how hard it is for the families of the children who come to them. I have three children and my youngest daughter, Hazel, was born in August 2005. Um, and when she was born, almost immediately we knew there was something wrong and she ended up getting diagnosed with Sturge Weber syndrome. And she spent quite a long time in hospital, or well, she still does, but for the first year of her life, um, particularly just between so probably the ages of one and Christmas, sort of August... Christmas. And probably five months in a row she, uh -huh. was, she was in hospital in York Hill. And, and she was very, very, very ill. Um, and it was actually the epilepsy nurse there that talked about the children's hospice. And she talked about Rachel House to begin with, but they said that Robin House was quite newly opened and it was probably nearer for us. And she contacted Robin House and then somebody came out to see us and then we came here for a visit. And that's really how it all got yeah. started. So what does the future hold? Chaz is set up to provide care and support for children and young people and their families as they undertake an uncertain journey, where staff can support and walk with families along their difficult road. This is a frightening and emotional time for families and their loved ones. Chaz's unique experience and expertise 
can significantly improve the quality of life for the child or young person. But Chaz cannot stand still. Medical science doesn't stand still, and palliative care needs to progress in step. The concept of palliative care occurring alongside therapeutic care is not new, but it needs to be developed further. There is no definite right or wrong way, just the passionate belief that lives, however brief, should be as rich as possible. We welcome appropriate referrals of children and young people who ordinarily will not reach adult age. These referrals can come from any healthcare professional, although they often come from a youngster's paediatrician, but they can also come from family members. I feel comfortable to sit back and read my book or stay out the picture because I know that she's getting every bit here that she needs. And I you know, definitely don't have any worries that way. We come and we just be able to sleep all night and just relax and just go poof. And he was, you know, we all landed and we were all, it was like a, a weekend's holiday together um, and to do something as a family together, which really in those early days just, we'd never got a holiday, we'd never got out of the home setting. It was good to know as well that when I came in then with the boys that I could have my rest. I didn't, I, I got like the weekend off from my normal physio, turning them at night, you know, toilet and having to brush your teeth, you know, just do all that, everything you do every day. Chaz wants to work with you to ensure the right families are referred at the right time. Then you and Chaz can share the ownership of the care for these children and young people and their families to help ensure that each remaining hour, day, week or month is used to make treasured, lasting memories. Thank you for listening.